Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Welcome back guys. First of all, a big thanks to all of you for your support, your comments, your likes and your sharing the video. Keep doing that it is really helping the channel so let's get started we start with uh, euro usd we are looking at the weekly time frame and as you see here last week we end up uh, with a spinning top or a doji candle so it's been uh, um, we could say that it's been a sideways week going down to the daily time frame you see what happened up down up down uh, no break below previous structure which was uh, i was expecting that uh, to happen to retest these levels a little bit deeply but uh, as for now that didn't happen we've got the uh, FOMC on Friday even though it was uh, uh, pretty okay numbers I would say uh, let's go back to that day and see what we had uh, pretty good numbers for the US but uh, even that was the case uh, the euro did bounce back up so what did change on the structure uh, actually not much we're still having uh, on the four hour time frame a bearish market and the main reason for that lower lows lower highs lower lows uh, okay we've got this uh, bounce to the upside this could also be i mean uh, traders been trade uh, selling this for a while this could be uh, the end of the week profit taking uh, a bounce back up is possible all in all in my opinion this is still um, to be considered a little bit of a bearish market even though on the one hour time frame we've had this potential fake out higher low and then maybe next week we could look at this level as a potential sell but in my opinion as far as there is no break above these areas here as far as those levels are holding i'm still uh, looking to uh, sell around those levels so first of all i will watch this level for retest and continuation and if they manage to hold above that level the last line of defense gonna be here because after that i mean if they manage to break this swing this is a key swing for us as you see it was many candles correction that's why i'm calling this a key swing here uh, if they manage to break above that and then we've got a retest that give us a higher low okay then i would say we potentially gonna have a bigger correction as for now i'm still watching this as a potential one two three retest continuation i still think for some reason why would the bears stop before reaching this area down here i'm not quite sure about that reasoning that will stop here in uh, mid of nowhere and start moving higher sterling <coughs> Uh, got weak uh, last week as well. So checking the weekly time frame what we got so far is lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and the key structure is still down here. This level is a key level for now. As you see if we look left been tested many times as both uh, support and resistance. So this gonna be a key level for next week and the week after for sure. So we're going to keep an eye on this and see if the bulls will defend this area. It is now potentially time to fine tune this level, move this uh, structure a little bit lower like this. You could do so if you want, but I don't like to uh, change my major old level. So I will keep that level. I might add uh, this uh, kind of zone here to keep an eye on that, that um, as it is my last line of defense before further downside so for now keep an eye on the level where the price is at the moment this is a key area and keep in mind guys that it's been a very very quick move so there is a big void in the price here in this whole area and uh, most of the time you see the market going back and trading those levels once again that's why you get those uh, retests and then maybe continuation so as for now <coughs> and uh, for next week for me this area down here gonna be the level of interest for me to watch and see what will happen if we're gonna get a retest to that area so i'm expecting early next week to see a little bit of a correction on this market 
Uh, USD Chappie, nothing new here. We're still going sideways, consolidating. It is not good that they, they failed so many times to break higher. And we, we, we know that this is a key level. Checking the weekly time frame. I mean, when we reach this level, I was talking uh, to our traders that this is a multi-year level. I think I mentioned this in my weekly overviews here on YouTube as well. So we got another retest of this area and this is a big deal level. So uh, a, a reversal here is uh, very, very possible. Uh, they are building up now uh, some pressure maybe for that. <clears throat> of course, if we see a break to the upside that hold above, then that might be a signal for continuation by my expectation is at least a correction back down toward 112 or toward 111 down here so i'm keeping an eye on this for next week to see if they're gonna be a break if that would be the case i'm looking for retest and then a continuation toward 112 that is the first target to uh, to, to play with for next week this will give you depends on how it looks like and the structure etc of of course but this would give you a one-to-one -one trade if you see something like this happening first the break you look for retest depends on where is your entry or if it's gonna be a limit order exactly on the line which i'm not recommending and then hopefully a continuation down toward this area so this is what i'm seeing for usually next week Aussie uh, <clears throat> broke that trend line, both trend lines on the daily time frame. Now we have a break uh, below uh, key swing here. We have a lower high. Uh, Friday it did push back up, but if you look left here, actually, I'm not seeing any reason why will uh, this start to moving here in the middle of nowhere almost. A, um, a move back down toward this neckline would be something to to work with in my opinion so uh, i'm still suspicious here if this was a real bullish move or is just a some kind of a correction so all in all we have on the four hour lower low lower high another lower low and a lower high maybe a retest and continuation as far as there is no break above this structure here i'm looking for potential continuation to the downside on this market i'm still short on this one and i'm looking for further downside usd cat also uh, last week was a nice move above the range finally if we check the daily time frame here we saw this coming uh, we talked about that in my uh, previous videos higher lows were coming we we were talking about potential establishing a bottom here and we were waiting for the breakout uh, we've got a daily candle above this level and on friday we've got also a close outside of the range even though it wasn't the best candle to get as you see it was a doji candle but still we have a two days with a close above that neckline which uh, for me is a uh, confirmation that we might continue higher so now from here as far as we are trading above the range and above most of uh, most importantly above this trend line as far as that is the case and this trend line is holding i'm willing to keep being long i am long here as you may know from this area almost and um, yeah i might add to this if the market keep defending this trend line and then a continuation my ultimate target for now uh, midterm target is a retest of this area so i'm expecting something like this to happen that would be a nice trade and that's my plan for this market for next week usd chief uh, there was <clears throat> an attempt to break higher here we talked about this in my trading room on friday friday morning in my morning briefing and i said to the guys that yeah, I, I do like the level i do like the fact that we had a fake out here and uh, it is time to start looking for a potential reversal but i also said be careful guys because we might get some fake outs and uh, that exactly what happened uh, on the four hour time frame it was looking nice with this but especially this higher low and i said to uh, the room that we need to see a breakout and then we need to see that breakout holding above the trend line to then go long because that was what i was afraid of uh, you get a um, spike and then the market did move uh, back down during that nfp release but all in all as far as it is holding above this it is still possible for potential rotation and continuation to the upside so keep an eye down here this might be uh, another area that might get defended even though you see this happening and this is not the first time 
you see big correction on this market here it was the same uh, it just keep happening you get those big corrections especially when a reversal is about to happen there will be a lots of fake out and then <clears throat> the market might continue higher so this for now is a fake out but we will keep an eye as far as there is no break below these areas here it might still go uh, to get a a long trend here a long trade sorry but you need to have good confirmation before you take that buy gold also looking good uh, nice bounce to the upside uh, it did end this correction there was no break below this structure so this whole thing now was a correction we've got a break and close above previous highs which means actually that this is a signal that this market is willing to continue higher to tag previous highs so that is potentially the target for the bulls they end this correction here with a breakout retest and continuation so for next week if that um if that uh, move to the upside give you a bit of a slow correction like this you might look for potential continuation from this neckline maybe i would uh, play that neckline as the level of retest to then look for continuation to tag these previous highs on this market and um, last but not least uh, oil checking the daily time frame uh, we have a lower high we have a lower low uh, we broke the neckline i think this market um, or the bears right now are eyeing something like this in my opinion a retest of this key structure down here at around the 76.50 this is a major level that got broken previously and uh, it might act as a magnet to drag the price back toward that area to then try to find buyers we will see if that would be the case as for now on the four hour time frame also lower low lower high another lower low and yet another lower high and this if they fail to break above previous high next week if they fail to break above this area here i'm looking for potential continuation down toward as i said 76.50 or 77 down there is a potential level for the bulls to watch and defend and that was all for this week thanks a lot guys see you next sunday bye bye